the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, JAEA, is located in Tokai Village, Ibaraki Prefecture, about 110 kilometers northeast of Tokyo. In December this year, JAEA will inaugurate JPARC, the Japan Proton Accelerator Research Complex, the world's most advanced high-intensity proton accelerator. JPARC will accelerate protons to almost the speed of light, seven and a half times around the Earth in one second, and have them collide against targets of metal and other materials, producing neutrons and mesons, which will be used for various research and development. For example, the structure of protein, which cannot be seen by such conventional methods as radiation or X-ray, can be figured out by using JPARC. This will help them to develop medicines for intractable diseases or new materials which will make our life better. Why do we need such a large facility? We need it because we have to accelerate protons to 97% of the speed of light. We will make it possible to build a ring-shaped accelerator 1.6 kilometers around, instead of a straight accelerator. We will take out energy from the accelerator and use it to see various materials and promote scientific research and development. Accelerated proton beams will collide against the target producing neutrino beams, which will be sent to Super Kamiokande in Gifu Prefecture, 295 kilometers away from here. This neutrino experimental facility will become the world's most advanced neutrino research center, attracting 400 researchers from 12 countries. In this research facility, now under construction, 23 beam lines will be established to provide a neutron beam to each laboratory, which will conduct research on the structure of materials. Structures of various materials, atoms, nuclei, nucleons, and elementary particles. These are all mysteries, and our mission is to bring them to light. There are many examples in which observing micro things leads to understanding macro materials. By knowing the details of the semiconductor, you will understand the whole nature of the semiconductor, which will lead to the production of integrated circuits, computers, and mobile phones. A huge number of researchers on micro things are involved in such a process. If we look at 10 years from now, it may be possible to make new medicines, new cosmetics, and even some kind of transportation system.